23, 24, this isn't human. Don't stop, dude. 25 mints in your mouth. Minty fresh. Slacker. <laughs> Ted Hunt. Rosa, put those mints back in the mint dish. Johnny, you call that a starched collar? Reef, start hawking our new line of souvenir fragrances. Beach in a bottle? Practice on the next guest. I'll be watching. Welcome to Surfer's Paradise, miss. Chrissy. Want to try our new beach in a bottle perfume? No, thank you. <laughs> Why did you do that? And why is my perfectly starched short turning brown? Because it's, uh, extra beachy? <gasps> A meticulous neat freak who loves starched clothes as much as I do? Oh, she's beautiful. Andrew Bomber, day manager, hi. Please, madam, give me your shirt. Excuse me? Uh, I mean so I can have it laundered. <laughs> I like crosswords, dinner by candlelight, and long romantic walks on the beach to check that the sand is evenly combed. <gasps> uh, no thank you. On all counts. There goes a handful. A handful of wonderful. <clears throat> Gentlemen, carry on. Dude, did Bummer just fall in love? Thought you needed a heart to fall in love. Guess not. Great. Babysitter just canceled. But honey, it's our 17th and a half wedding anniversary. Uh, Peachtree, we're only going away for the weekend? Well, not if we don't find someone to watch George. Someone like me? No way. Double no way. Daddy, I can totally handle it. Like you handled it last time with a wild party? We still haven't gotten rid of that party pig. <laughs> Daddy, Sir stinks a lot's like a member of the family now. Oh, the penthouse would feel empty without him. I brought towels, extra fluffy just the way you like them. No, okay. But no guests and no parties. Or you can forget the school exchange in Switzerland next year, young lady. You can totally trust me, Daddy. Don't I get a say in this? No. no. Okay, Junior. Daddy made me the sitter, so for the next 48 hours, consider your butt sat. How long is this gonna take? Some of us have real work to do. Wait for it. Wait for it. Does anyone else hear that music? Now check this action. Yo, Bomber, can I get the weekend off? Okay. With pay? Yeah, okay. Oh, and can I use your personal golf cart for a demolition derby? Okay. Thanks, Bomber. I mean, Bummer. The human male. A solitary but brilliant animal until a female of the species turns his brain into a sack of goo. Hummer's in love. So whenever Chrissy's around... We could get whatever we want, yo! Wait, are you saying we should take advantage of Bummer? Yes! That's the best idea ever! <laughs>
Thanks, Bomber. Okay. Coming! Coming! Oh, hold on to your swim trunks. Sorry, no guests allowed. Who was at the door? Gromit. Where'd he go? Away. You heard Daddy. No guests allowed. Gromit isn't a guest. He's my best friend. What evs? Now vamos, or I'll paint your toenail safari yellow. You wouldn't dare. Ah! Here's the plan. We get Bummer and Chrissy together, and we never have to work again. Yes! So, Chrissy, you must be tired because you've been running through my dreams all day. <laughs> Uh-oh. Bummer won't go near her. Dude's got no game. Ew, less than no game. Oh, negative game. Cover me. I'm going in. Oh, sir, somebody's checking you out. Okay, her eyes are saying hot surfer dude, but her heart is saying bomber. Go talk to her. Finn, this hotel is a workplace, and every workplace has rules, like rule number 77, no dating the guests. Yeah, but come on, there's no rule against having fun. Wrong, rule 109, no fun. Now quit breaking it and get back to work. <sighs> Be strong, bomber. A man can have only one love, and you love your hotel. You love it! Who's a good hotel? <clears throat> uh, uh no, nothing to see here, folks. Just a routine uh, hotel taste test. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> okay. I thought I told you, Gromit. No guests. Uh... <gasps> Reef cake? How did you know I was totally craving steak and fries? Uh, because you just called me and ordered it? <laughs> Come in, silly. No guests allowed. You have 10 seconds to vacate the premises, or I call security. What's the little munchkin man talking about? Sorry, babe. George is right. Daddy did say no visitors. Good. My work here is done. See you in 10? Here's the fire escape. Sir, ma'am, welcome to the Surfer's Paradise dining room, where all your dining dreams come true. Try the fish. Bummer won't ask out Chrissy, then Chrissy will just have to ask out Bummer. Ah, yeah. Feel the love. What if Bummer doesn't go for it? He'd better, or we could say au revoir to a Bummer-free summer. <laughs> Emma, careful! What? I didn't drop anything. You... really? For real? Wow, that's weird. Uh, ma'am, guests aren't allowed in the kitchen. Oh, well, I don't eat anywhere until I inspect the kitchen first. Whoa, obsess much? No wonder Bummer's got it bad. They're like two peas in an extremely tight pod. What a neat freak. I mean, the kitchen isn't even dirty. a particularly spineless specimen of human male, he tries to forget about the female by moping around in the job. So, who installed that light? I did not approve that level of wattage. And now, for your in-ship entertainment, the heavenly vocal stylings of the one, the only, the nitpicky Mr. Andrew Bomber. <laughs> this is highly inappropriate behavior. In my office now. Oh, I just love karaoke. <laughs> I had a real hate on for dirt from the first time I saw your perfectly starched shirt. I have scrubbed grease and I have scrubbed grime, searching for a neat freak that I can call mine. Won't you come pick some nits with me? And we'll be one And we won't say goodnight Till the dishes are done We're both impossible to please Won't you come pick some nits with me, dear? Whoa, whoa, yeah! Bravo! 
If you're free tomorrow, perhaps you'd consider giving me a private tour of the resort? A private... a, a tour? A, a hobby? And just like that, the human male undergoes a metamorphosis. Scientists call it getting his groove back. Oh, bye. Why, of course, ma'am. I would love to give you a tour of my hotel. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Andrew. Well done, Brosif. I will now give you a riz. <sighs> Too much? Oh, oh, oh. Reef, what took you so long? Are you kidding me? Oh, right. We're 30 floors up. Whatever. Let's eat. What about George? He's got a stack of video games and a large pepperoni. We won't hear from the little troll doll. I'll show her no guest allowed. Guess who got a date with Andrew Bummer? Nice work, Chrissy. Thank you, sir. I've already got nasty pictures of the kitchen, but using Bummer's behind-the-scenes tour to sabotage the place will really seal the deal. One look at those filthy photos, and the health inspector will shut down Surfer's Paradise for good. <laughs> That's the plan. Oh, no! We hooked up Bummer with a spy for Captain Ron! But come on, it's not like the hotel's that dirty. <laughs> We are so in trouble. Have you totally lost your mind? <sighs> what about our bummer-free summer on the waves? Sorry, but we have to tell Bummer that Chrissy's a spy. Oof. No way! If Bummer stops being lovey-dovey, I'll have to work. And if I have to work, I can't surf. And if I can't surf, I won't get my daily bath in the ocean. Bummer is dating a spy, and we have to tell him. If she closes the hotel down, we're all out of a job. Just one more wicked sesh. Ah, no! I uh, I have to do what's right. Ah. Romit, my good man. You like to party, don't you? Good. Because you and I are throwing a party my dad will never forget or forgive. Step one, advertising. Lo won't even know what hit her. Check it! Party in the penthouse! We gotta go! Wait, aren't you in charge of the penthouse? Oh. George Masterson, Ridgemount! Mr. Bomber, did you hear what I said? Chrissy is a corporate spy working for Captain Ron. Hmm? Yes, fascinating. Which tie would look better on my date with Chrissy? Lemon yellow or canary yellow? You won't need a tie when Surfer's Paradise gets shut down for good. I think I get it. Ugh, finally. It's another one of your wacky surfer jokes. <laughs> oh, you kids crack me up. Take the rest of the day off, you crazy. I am late for my date. When I catch George, I'm gonna throw a party on his face and every guest will be in heels. Oh, yeah! Party in the penthouse! Can't wait! You'll have to wait a long time. There is no party! <laughs> What's the big deal, babe? I love parties. Party's my middle name! Yesterday you said your middle name was Danger. I have lots of middle names. Party, Danger, Adventure, Enrique... Drop it, doofus! No party for you. <laughs>
sabotaging everything and getting pictures. We have to get that phone away from her. Yeah, and someone should really skim the pool. Babe, chill out. No way Georgie can throw a killer party. It's probably just a bunch of little wieners playing tiddlywinks. <laughs> Pizza. No, no pizza. Everybody out. No worries, I got this. Reef. Hello, sister. Enjoying your party. George! Okay, team, target is locked. Remember the plan. I create a diversion. Emma, Broseph, you grab Chrissy's camera. Everyone ready? Um, not really. Sorry, the surf was so good. <sighs> Is that my dress? Uh, fine, keep it. Food fight! Oh, no. Everyone, get out! Reef! Be right with you, babe. Hello, kitty, go! Reef! Reef! Target locked. I'm going in. Gotcha. Chrissy, your phone is mine. Um, <clears throat> um, it's not what it looks like. Why stop it? Jeez, fight! Okay, George, you win. When Daddy sees this mess, he'll never forgive me. No Switzerland, no platinum card. I'll be lucky if I get invited to Christmas dinner. Oh! <laughs> hey, it's not that bad. I'll just call Broseph and the boys and we'll bounce these party in. You'd do that for me? <clears throat> for a girl who tastes like cheese in a can, I'd do anything. Yo, bro, party 911. Place is out of hand. Well, then, it's a good thing I called just now to check in. Mr. Ridgema, I can explain, sir. Um, when surfers say party 911, that just means, um, hey, chums, let's go surfing. Really? Then what's with the racket? We're, um, watching a movie about parties? I've heard all I need to hear. Tell Lo we're on our way home. Everything's okay now, right? Totally okay, babe. Oh, and your dad says hi. Also, he's coming home. Also, he sounds really mad. What? Mr. Bomber, I can totally explain. No need. You're fired! But, sir... Rule number one, no stealing from guests. Pack your things, you're going home. Chrissy is a spy for Captain Ron. She's sabotaging the hotel and making it look like a dump and taking pictures. <laughs> That's ridiculous. First, she steals my phone, then she makes wild accusations? I'll take that. Your evidence? Not a chance. Uh, 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 no! Uh, Let uh, go! Uh, uh, the thumbprints all over the touch screen! Finn! Hold on! Uh, uh. Ow! What? The hotel! It looks like it's run by pigs! No, sir. The only pig around here is Chrissy. <laughs> And the pig. I trusted you. I led you into my world and you betrayed me. Andrew, wait, I... Goodbye, I, Chrissy. I... We could have been so finicky together. And as for you slackers, don't think I don't know you've been surfing during work hours. You'll make it up with unpaid overtime. Now get this vermin off my beach! Nice. Real nice. Bug Move along, fun boys. Party's over. Uh-uh, not you. Daddy's on his way home, thanks to hairdo McMonkey Brains. Hey, I said I was somewhat sorry. Busted. Dad would be so mad. He'll let me turn your room into a litter box for my tarantula. Uh-uh. If Lo goes down, so do you. But I was alone in my room the whole time, being well behaved. Yeah? Then what's he doing here? Gromit. How could you let yourself be captured by the enemy? 
<sighs> Truce? I vacuum, you mop. Now get scrubbing, Junior. Move, move, move! All right, what's going on in here? Nothing, Daddy. Just giving George some sisterly love. Lo is the bestest babysitter ever. But the party. I distinctly heard a ruckus. You mean at the staff house? Yeah, I guess services must have misdirected your call. New guy's total sketch. See, honey? It's all good in the hood. Your father has such an imagination. <laughs> What was that? Nothing. Nothing. And in the end, the male human has resumed his solitary lifestyle. Perhaps this is for the best. Some animals are better off on their own. <laughs> 